gonna try this one last time. Facebook won't let me be great. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna try one more time. Damn. Be quiet, Layla. Anyway, um, so the reason the reason why I am I've gone live is because my friend Donisha asked me. I don't even know if anybody's interested in hearing it no more because you couldn't hear it twice. But anyway, my friend, my friend Donisha asked me. She said, she sent me a text message this morning. And she said, Hey Margaret, can you hear me now? Can you see me? Please say so you can hear me and see me. She said, Good morning, my friend. I just peeked in on Facebook and see that you have a real estate school. Thank you. She said, I see you have a real estate school. And my initial thought was, it always feels like there's not enough hours in a day, but you seem to manage multiple businesses with ease. So I'm requesting that you do a Facebook Live or a video on time management. And I'm sure others would also be interested in your approach. Okay, so my friend asked me to go live and talk about how I manage my time. And my, my, my response to her was, time management, really? Ha, huh. it's a juggle, but uh, let me think. Because that is something, let me pause Layla Hathaway real quick. That's something that I struggle with, um, time management. And, and, and a lot of times, Facebook makes it seem like or appear that, you know, we get a snapshot of a person's life and Facebook will make it appear that either we're doing more than what we're doing or whatever it is that we're doing, we're doing it with ease. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people come, um, they want their real estate license. I do have a real estate school or they would love to come and work for Catalyst because they see the parties and they see the great time we're having and they see all the fun stuff that we're doing. But what they don't see is the sleepless nights. What they don't see is the hard work. What they don't see is me being the first one in and the last one out a lot of the times. What they don't see is me, you know, locking up the doors, looking behind me, making sure that, um, you know, that I ain't going to get mugged. You know, they don't see all that stuff. But what they see is the glory. They see all that, you know, all the things that it looks like or it appears that, um, you know, somebody may be living their best life. Again, it's a snapshot. Facebook shows a snapshot. I'm only going to show you the good stuff. I ain't going to show you the bad stuff. I ain't going to show you that I cussed my husband. I'm not going to show you all that stuff. I'm just going to show you the stuff that makes it look easy and makes it, makes it look good. But you're not also going to see the times where I'm missing my son's birth, um, not birthdays. I'm missing my son's basketball games or I don't get to partake in certain things because I'm doing other things. And one of the things that one of my mentors, Lisa Nichols, says is she says that um, balance is a myth, but harmony is a must. And that is probably one of the truest statements that like, I know that really resonate with, resonates with me is that balance is absolutely a myth. Like you cannot try to do everything and then have proper balance and everything. It's just impossible. So I might be doing good, really good at one thing and then I might neglect something else. Um, I'm thankful for the support I have at home because I absolutely wouldn't be able to do half the stuff that I was that I'm able to do without, you know, my husband being there, without him being supportive, without him like holding it down. He's taking the kids to basketball. He's taking the kids to school while I'm, I'm able to do other things. I've missed birthday parties. You know, um, I've missed I missed my son, my kids first day at school, sometimes just being in different places or being in the class myself, trying to enhance myself. I've missed, I've had to leave um, on the 4th of July, which missed two of my kids' birthday parties to go be somewhere else. You know, and that's a sacrifice. And it's not always fun. It's not always the best. And, you know, it's just, it's been a, it's, it's been a hustle just to get to this place. And I'll share with you in a moment of transparency, like, you know, I, I've had to struggle in building my business. It is not always easy. It's not easy. It has not been easy, but it most certainly everything that I've gone through has been worth it. And I shared, I was sharing with um, one of my agents last week, we, we did a, a breakthrough training at the office and I was sharing with one of my agents last week, how, um, you know, how hard, you know, it's being successful is not easy. Being successful is hard because if it was easy, everybody would do it. And sometimes I had to decide on whether I was going to pay my lease or pay my mortgage. And we still have, not me, because the house is in my husband's name, but still have marks on the mortgage today because we had to make that choice. Because I knew that the business was going to be able to sustain itself and it was going to be able to take care of us. But having to make that decision on whether we was going to be late on the lease 
or we were going to be late on our mortgage payment just so we can have business, have, have a business. Cause I knew, you know, that those were hard decisions. Um, you know, I started the business fresh out of bankruptcy. Like I filed bankruptcy in 2009, 2010, I opened up catalyst real estate professionals and it was a struggle to get all these different places. And it was a sacrifice trying to get all to all of these different places. And it was a lot of pouring into myself and it was a lot of investing time, money, energy, resources into everything. So it's not anything that comes easy and it's not anything that is just like, I could just do it and it's done with ease. You know, look, I'm out here, I, I have water, right? And so um, there's ducks out there and I liken my life to those ducks out there because when they are floating on the water, it's like they're just floating and gliding with ease. I'm looking at them right now. They're over here floating and gliding with ease. You can't see them, right? But what's going on underneath, all that's going on underneath is what life is. So there's no like formula. There's no, there's, there's no magic thing to, 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 to be successful. It's a struggle at every level. It's just a matter of struggle. And it's a matter of you picking the struggle that you're in and that you being able to go past the struggle and go past the obstacles that are thrown your way. Again, I've had to decide whether I was going to pay my mortgage or pay my lease on the office that I was in. And I've had, and I've been late on my mortgage many a times, never was late on the lease, have been late on the mortgage because I believed in my dream. And so it's all, everything is, is not been, it's not been easy. You know, I delegate. So, so the secret to it is delegation, you know, and I've, I wake up very, very, very early and I wake up like at four o'clock in the morning, most mornings, and I do more before at four o'clock before everybody wakes up than most people do all day. <laughs> so at four o'clock I'm doing, I'm working from four or five, six, seven, eight. Then I come go, I go to the gym and I'm working on the elliptical. I'm working on the treadmill. I'm working from my phone. That's why my screen time hours are so high because I'm working. And then I come to the office and then I work, whether I'm, you know, working with clients or I'm working with my team, it's all constant work. And so it looks easy because you see the snapshot, you see the turn up, you see all the fun stuff, but you don't see all the behind the scenes work that's being, that's happening. You don't see the sleepless nights. You don't see the late nights. So balance is sometimes there's no balance. Time management, sometimes you just do with the time that you have. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. Um, but it's just a matter of what you do in that 24 hours. We got the same 24 hours that Beyonce has. We got the same 24 hours. But what does she do within that time? And the problem is most people aren't willing to get uncomfortable to do it. Very few people are willing to get uncomfortable so that they can see their dreams come into fruition. And so it's a sacrifice. There's no magic wand. There's no magic pill that you could take to make it happen. It's just really a lot of hard work. So trying to balance it all is just impossible. Um, but, you know, just putting people in place, showing houses. My husband, he'd be out there showing houses. He has a real estate license. So if a friend or family wants to see a house, you might be going to see a house for Warren, right? You might be, Glenda might go take you out to see a property. Or, um, you know, I have somebody that does my, the loans and stuff, does my processing and does my loan administration. Taisha's doing that for me. And then, um, you know, when I'm working in my real estate school, I have Ty teaching my real estate school. So it's not necessarily me doing everything. The things that I love to do is I love to teach. I love to help people and I love teaching. I love to, to, I love to show people how to do things, but that's about it. That's about it. So, um, how do I manage my time? I don't. <laughs> Um, I do do a to-do list every day. I do a to-do list, right? So I have a to-do list um, and I try to accomplish as much as I can in the day. And if I can't accomplish it here, sometimes I'll take my laptop home. That's not, my, maybe that's not, not the best thing to do with my kids. Um, and I'm learning, you know, um, Lisa taught us to, uh, she said, have a conversation with your family and um, ask them, you know, on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate our relationship? And I asked my kids and I'm thinking, look, I'm the bomb.com mom. Pretty great. All going to give me tens. And they gave me like eights. I, think, I don't think I got a seven. I got eights, I believe. And I was like, okay, what can I do to become a 10? And some of it was really around, you're busy a lot, mom. We love you. We know that you do this for us, but sometimes you're busy. And so I'm not per perfect. 
you know, I'm trying to figure everything out. And um, but I'm doing the best that I can. And my husband told me one time, he said, I know that you can't give me 100 percent of your time. But if you can give me 100 percent of the 25 percent that you can give me, then I'm happy with that. And that's what I learned to do. So I learned to make the most out of a little bit of time wherever I'm at. So if you notice that I'm with you, I'm giving you 100% of my time. Like if I'm with you and I'm talking to you, you got me, right? And then I'm going to phone over here, you got me. And so sometimes when people be like, oh, Constance, you don't answer your phone. Yeah, because I'm engaging with something else. It's not like I'm like, oh, hey, Colin, I ain't going to answer. I'm really engaging. So that's what I try to do with my time as well as I try to give whoever I'm with 100% of my time. And if I'm on the phone, then I give that 100% of my time. Uh, but it's all in what you do with your time. So I absolutely, uh, Margaret, will keep sharing and keep asking and keep growing and keep learning because it's an evolution and I'm not nowhere near where I, where I feel like I need to be, but I am a work in progress. So how do I balance it all? I don't. I delegate. All right. That's it. That's all I got. Thank you, Facebook, for allowing me to be great today and not, well, not allowing me to be great because you cut me off two other times. But thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak to people today. And if you know anybody who could use this, these words, um, you know, share. Peace.